There were a few teams that we could not find a line that ended in 0.5. Oregon, our first team is one of them. Their line is nine everywhere you look. Nine wins. 2021, what will this season look like? Anthony Brown, the quarterback from Boston College, is the likely quarterback, but you also have to look out for the true freshman, Ty Thompson, very talented player. Lots of talent on this team. C.J. Burdell, Travis Dye, good good duo at running back. Their top three receivers are back. And Micah Pittman is a candidate to break out. Really like this team. Ashton, your initial thoughts on Oregon. Um, as far as the number at nine, this is an easy over. I think for me, this feels like a no-brainer. Um, the I just I, you don't you look at their schedule, you just don't really see many losses um, on their schedule. The the tough game, their their toughest game of the year will be the the game, um, the Ohio State game, uh, week two. Um, so that's going to really probably be their toughest game. Other than that, don't really see any just true games that you think that they're not going to be favored by at least a touchdown. Um, possible yeah I mean there's a there's there's always some possibility towards the end towards the end of the year that someone sneaks up and gets in maybe like a Washington um Oregon State actually snuck up and got <laughs> snuck up and got him last year just finished watching the highlights of that game but no I to me Oregon I think is 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 the class of of the of the uh, of the Pac-12 we mentioned the quarterback battle between maybe the newcomer Ty Thompson he's highly rated um extremely talented kid Probably be Anthony Brown, though. That looks like who is kind of the the clubhouse leader right now in the in the Oregon um, in their summer camp. So um, it looks like it is. Love Mario Cristobal. I think you do as well. Um, we're big fans of what he's done out there. They're going to dominate in the lines of scrimmage in the Pac-12 games. Um, they're going to blow everyone else off the ball, um, and they're they should be able to stop the run. They have an extremely good uh, defensive end there in Kayvon Thibodeau, who's going to be probably a top three draft pick um, come next April. So. Um, yeah, at nine, that feels like all they have to win is is nine games to push. I think they'll win 10 easily. Yeah, I'm definitely with you on the over. And we've talked about what they've done on the lines, really improving the trench play there. It also feels like they're finally starting to figure out some of the some of like the positions they're known for. Wide receiver, I mentioned the talent there. They also have a couple really highly rated freshmen coming in, Troy Franklin and Dante Thornton. Most of their offensive line returns. Um, so there's just a lot for Joe Moore had to work with here. And you, I wonder a little bit what last year, it's hard to take a lot from last year because of COVID due, or due to COVID for, for the entire country. But I think probably, especially for the Pac-12, they were the last conference to actually play, probably practice the least of any conference. Um, obviously, there's, it's just a little different climate out west than the rest of the country politically. Um, but yeah, lots of talent out on the edges now. You mentioned Kayvon Thibodeau, maybe the best defensive end in college football. Also, their linebackers. They have got some really good, talented linebackers. Noah Sewell, Isaac Slade Matotia. I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce that. And Mace Funa. I, I apologize for any, uh, any of those mispronunciations. I hope I mispronounced them correctly. Um, and then Justin Flo, of course. So some very talented linebackers. Some good corners as well. Mikhail Wright is good. And Dante Manning, the former five-star, I believe, has potential to be an absolute stud. Last year, they lost to Oregon State, Cal, and Iowa State. It feels like they didn't really live up to their potential last year. This year could be different. I'm on the over. The recruiting has been really impressive. And I think now is the time when they actually start turning it into wins. You mentioned Ohio State. Do you give them a chance in that game? I think it'll be a great game. I really do. Both of them will be breaking in kind of new quarterbacks. Um, so that, and that'll be week two, like we said. So they're both going to be bringing in, yeah, kind of a, a new quarterback and, and maybe a new system um, to, to some extent. Now I think, and you touched on it, the, the linebackers that, that Oregon has, I, Oregon has a better defense. I'm going to go ahead and say that Oregon has the better defense between the two Ohio state. You give the edge on offense, but not by as much as you would have maybe a year ago. Um, Michael Pittman's little brother, Micah, um, we've, we've already talked about him possibility. He ton of talent right there. He could really break out, um, and kind of, kind of become kind of what his brother was. He's a smaller version, but more of a slot guy than, um, instead of the big six, four, but it kind of, kind of, yeah, kind of a, a smaller slot receiver that that's what Oregon loves. They've always loved that type of receiver there, um, in Eugene. So I think that that'll be a great game. I mean, it's going to be the game of week two would be a primetime game, um, They'll have a chance. 
a coin flip game for me right now, I wouldn't wouldn't be putting any money any money either way. Yeah, I I do think they have a chance. I think I would definitely choose Ohio State to win that game if I had to make a pick. Um, but yeah, Oregon, very good team. I, I really like their team. Should we should probably mention they did lose their defensive coordinator Andy Avalos to Boise State. Um, he's their new head coach, and they replaced him with Tim DeRuiter, who I think is is a pretty good coach. So. We'll see if that works out. I don't think that's a huge question mark. The talent there on defense is just too high for them to have a bad defense. So very good team. We're both in the over on Oregon.